anchors up and we're leaving this pretty blue water. It will be a night sail. We have nine knots of wind. It's going between nine and 14 and we have 80 miles to go. So all night, but we'll get to where we're going in the morning and I'll be able to see coral heads in the anchor. three knots so take us about well it's not giving me a time yet I think that'd be 25 hours if we go three knots the whole way <laughs> 25 hours I'm to get you Terry we won't go three knots the whole way slowly but surely we'll speed up Almost a full moon. It's been an extremely slow sail. Like, I think now we're going four and a half knots. So we've been going between like three to five knots for since 5.30 or six last night. I don't really know what time it is. I think it's like 2.30 right now. But it's been fine, it's been great. It's been super relaxing. We got a sprinkle this morning and that was the only rain we got. So I was super happy about that. The wind picked up around 11 last night to 25 knots very briefly. Thought we were gonna get a squall, we didn't. But I'm a bit exhausted. Slept pretty good last night considering and about to pull back into the bay that I came to on Long Island 
to go. So I got to this bay three months ago and I'm hoping to get the same anchorage where we got the black tips and the coral reef right behind. That was such a good spot. So I'm super excited about this and yeah. It feels good to have the sails up. I think I can tack a little bit more. Mako's feeling better too. Mako! Hey! I see you. I see you. Autopilot gave me a little bit of trouble early hours this morning, but since the batteries got back up, it's doing much better.
UFO. Okay, I am. Mako, you're fine. Oh, really? Yeah. I have been on Long Island for three months and um, I'm about to turn the engine on. I'm about to get the dinghy up, turn the engine on, and raise the anchor manually. Um, my mom and her friend Terry get off tomorrow morning and then I will make my way to Florida slowly. This will be my last time raising anchor with someone else on the boat. I haven't really been having my mom help me because I do want to get it down but it's still struggling to get that swivel over. Um, I'm gonna try to video. I'll have I'll probably have them video today maybe but um, we had the best goodbye yesterday. We had some dolphins circle the boat for an hour or two. So that was a good goodbye. Um, lucky that I got it on video because my GoPros are not really working anymore. So it's a struggle. I never know which one's gonna work, if it will work, the screens don't work. Um, yeah, I don't get it, but they're barely working. <sighs> anyway. It feels so weird to leave here, but it's time. Mako, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> we have wind. It should be kind of behind us, but to our starboard a little bit, I think. I don't remember if I remember that right. But we're going to be sailing, and pretty much I'm going to sail the whole way back to Florida. So I'm going to be sailing from Long Island to Georgetown, which is 25 miles. And then I'm going to stay there because the wind's going to die. So I'm going to stay there for about two days, knock out boat projects. I have a huge list just before I get to Florida. And then um, sail to Nassau, which is quite a long ways, and stay there. The wind, I could go all the way to Florida, but I want to see friends. And then the wind dies, so I'll be there for about a week as of now. And then I'll be sailing to Florida. And my grandfather does not know when, he knows I'm gonna be coming shortly because he knows I'm getting a dock in about a month. But he doesn't know exactly when, so I'm trying to show up right before his birthday. But I'll be going to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show and surprising him for his birthday and starting on projects. I'm actually, I think this is the first time I've been really excited to get back to Florida. Um, anyway, vent over. That was my update and time to raise everything. are officially on our way up from Long Island. Anchor is raised. Now we have 25 miles to go.
go. I think he dropped a ball in there. We made it. In place for about two nights till the wind shifts. Yes, we are. What'd you drop in there? Hmm? Look at it. Oh. Last night dinner. Fresh grouper. Wanna go to the grocery store? I'm so excited. I've had pineapple in months. Look at all these goodies. That was the quickest, number one, and probably most expensive um, grocery run I've ever done in the Bahamas for just me for less than a week. Um, oh my God, it's so worth it. I've seen through pineapple and papaya and spinach that wasn't wilted. I'm so happy right now. So for reference, I usually have like four bags of those and it's double the price. And I have one bag and it's expensive, but again, so worth it to have fresh produce. I won't do it again until I get to the States, but oh my gosh. It's the beginning of the 300 miles, 300 miles backpack up to Take an earlier cut, super shallow sandbars before dark. 